Welcome to Maze Eco Challenge. Today's problem is kth smallest element in a BST. Given a binary search tree, write a function kth smallest to find the kth smallest element in it. How do we take advantage of a binary search tree to find a kth smallest element? If you know your binary search trees, there's different ways to traverse through it. There's pre-order, which basically goes left, right to the node. There's post order, which goes from the node to left, right. And there's in order, which goes from the node, I'm sorry, the left to the node to the right. And if you look at a binary search tree, if we were to traverse through it in order, so from the left to the node to the right node, that's actually sorted for binary search tree. Like the way that it's structured, if we start at the left, go to the middle um, and then go to the right, so here one, so it's like left, middle, this is middle again, right, middle, right. You'll see that we'll traverse through the tree in the sorted order. So that makes it pretty easy to figure out what would be a way that we can traverse and return the kth element. So because really all we're going to be doing is returning the value for the kth time that we traverse through the tree. So the way that I solved it is first initializing two self variables, one for the counter, which we start at one, and one for the k smallest. So we'll just make that equal to none at the moment. And luckily there's an assumption that k is always gonna be valid. So we don't need to worry about there not being a k smallest. So now we need uh, some sort of helper function, right? And I'll, we'll call this in order. Um, and what we're going to do is first have our base condition say if not node, let's return, and we'll call our in order recursively to the left first. And here in the middle, we'll ask, okay, is the self dot counter equal to k, which is given to us in the in the function here. And if it is, then we can set our k smallest to this node to this node's value. So node.val. And otherwise we're gonna increase our counter since we know that there was a node here, so we have to uh, increase our counter so we know wh where we are where we're at. And finally in order, node.write. That's gonna be it as far as returning the self dot k smallest. And just just remember that the way that we structured it, it, this is in order. So that, so that does get accepted. Now, a couple weaknesses with this approach is we'll be traversing through the entire tree, uh, even if the k smallest is like very small, we'll still need to traverse through the entire tree. One way you could make it faster is by adding this condition here to say, okay, well, if the case smallest is already defined, if we've defined it as something, then we could just end uh, and hopefully not have to call all these recursive functions. Um, so that's one way it's increases, like improves it a little bit, but it's not the greatest. Another way you could improve it is to build a stack while loop and basically run through all the lefts in a while loop inside of a nested while, go to the middle and uh, then go write one and then repeat the process uh, and continue that and you can break that loop as soon as you reach the counter. So that's not recursive, that's like a stack building sort of method. It's still the same approach but the while loop is a little bit trickier. Um, you can also build an array if you like. So one w solution I saw was just building an array uh, doing the same sort of process except instead of um, checking this counter here, we'll uh, add to our array. We'll say, okay, add to this array, node.val. And once that's finished, we could just return the array k minus one value because it's zero indexed and we're looking for the kth element. And since this array is gonna be sorted completely, uh, that would actually work too. But you'll be wasting a lot of memory building this array. So I like my solution better. Thank you.